Hello Year Ones and welcome to Lesson 50 of the Year One Phonics Program. So, let's have a little look in our castle and see what's going on down here. Because we've got a little friend we met yesterday. And this little friend would like us to mention them again today. And this little friend is very unstressed and very relaxed. And we're going to put our little friend the right way round. Our upside down E is the unstressed schwa sound. Okay, good. We are going to review some of the morphemes that we've been learning. So remember, a morpheme is the smallest unit of meaning in a word. So we've learnt if we add s to the end of a word, it becomes plural, more than one. Some words we need to add es to make it plural, more than one. Ing means happening now. So before we look at our words to read, let's quickly review our special doubling rule when we add a vowel suffix. So ing starts with a vowel, so it's a vowel suffix. So remember, if the base word has one syllable, one short vowel followed by one consonant, we double the last consonant when adding a vowel suffix. When reading these words, we know that the vowel in the base word is short if it has a double consonant after it. Let's shimmy that down here. You stay there. Oh, I said, please stay here. Let's see if that works. Oh, I'm a bit wonky now. There, that's better. Okay, so let's spell out our first word. <sighs> or, n, t, and a double underline for our morpheme. Haunt, ing, haunting. Is it one syllable? The base word, sorry, my bad. Is the base word one syllable? Haunt, yes it is. Has it got one short vowel? Or, no it doesn't. So we don't double anything. Good job. Our next word is stopping. Stopping. Base word, is it one syllable? Yes. Short vowel, yes followed by one consonant, yes, so we double, stopping. And because we see a double P, we know when we read it, we need a short O. Oh. Hurt, hurts, hmm. We'll come back to hurts, actually. Let's keep going. G, R, A, SH, ETS. Brushes. Haunting, stopping, hurts, brushes. Haunting, stopping, hurts, brushes. <sighs> or, n, s, horns. M, o, ing, mo, ing. Fits this rule because it's o, w. It's a Consonant digraph, so we don't need to double anything. S, w, i, m. So we know it's a short i. Swimming. Swimming. S, w, i, ch. After a ch, we need the e, s spelling. Switches. Horns. Mowing. Swimming. S switches. Horns. Mowing. Swimming. Switches. S, w, Earl, uh, swell, swelling. R, a, n, s, runs. T, e, n, ing, turning, no doubling. H, o, p, s, hopes. D, r, a, m, drumming. A keyword. Remember our base word, drum, one syllable, one short vowel, one consonant, so we double drumming. D, R, S, S, dresses. B, E, N, Ch, S, benches. S, K, I, P, ing. Oh, that should only be one underline, I'll do it thick. Skipping, drumming, 
dresses, benches, skipping. Drumming, dresses, benches, skipping. Now, the reason, can you see some of these letters are written in a darker text than the others? There's a reason for that. So we've talked a lot about nouns and making them plural by adding the letter s, run. Um, I played cricket, I scored four runs. So runs in a cricket game are a noun. But if I said, I run to the shop, she runs to the shop, now I'm changing the verb from I run, she runs. You run, he runs. They run, it runs. So we follow the same rule when we add an S or an ES to verbs. She will brush her hair. She brushes her hair every day. Same rule. So fairly easy. When you go back to school, your teacher might give you a whole proper lesson on that. I'm just going over it very quickly, so I hope that's okay. So let's keep moving. There were lots of words on that list. That was a really busy one. So good job. We're going to have a go spelling some words. So get your pen and pencil. I'm going to do a pause face. Are we ready? Pen and pencil ready, let's go. Our first word is thorns. Oh, it cricked on some thorns. Say it with me. Thorns, thorns. Th or, n, s. Th or, n, s. Th or, n, s. Thorns. How did you go? Tick or fix? So we just added an S, we're going to be adding ES and ING. So let's listen. Our next word is dishes. Say it with me. Dishes. Dishes. D -i -sh -a -s. D-I-S-H-E-S. Now we know, don't we, when we change one dish into two dishes or more, we have to add ES. So when I say it in my spelling voice, dishes, that's good. But if I was speaking, I'd probably just say dishes, like a schwa. Okay, let's say it in our spelling voice. Dishes. D -i -sh -e -s. D -i -sh -e -s. Pause and you write dishes. D -i -sh -e -s. Dishes. Tick or fix. Our next word is burning. Burning. You listen, burning. Burning, b -er -n ing is our base word, burn, one syllable. Hmm, yes it is. Has it got a short vowel? Er, it's R controlled. So we're just going to add ing, no doubling. B -er -n ing. You pause and write burning. B -er Mm, ing. Tick or fix. And our last word is clapping. Say it with me. Clapping. 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 What's our base word? Clap. Is it one syllable? Is it a short vowel? Is it followed by one consonant? We need to double the P. You ready? Ooh. A, f, ing. Pause and you write clapping. K, u, a, f, ing. Clapping. Does your clapping look like my clapping? Give yourselves a tick. We're going to learn a new morpheme today. We're going to learn to add another vowel suffix, er, to words. Er means one who or something that. What do you mean, Simone? Or something that. So, if I like to play netball, I'm a netball player. If I like to teach, I am a teacher. If I like to think, I'm a thinker. 
These are all people who, or one who, does something. If I like toast, I'm going to put it in my toaster. Something that toasts. Something that toasts is a toaster. Someone who plays netball is a netball player. Someone who scratches their head is a scratcher. Someone who kicks a footy is a kicker. Um, someone who, oh, a thing that mixes your cake mix, mixer. So can you hear by adding the ER suffix on the end, we turn it into one who or something that does something. So let's get our sky writing fingers ready and we're going to write ER. You ready? E, R, E, E, R, E. One more. E, R, E. Now, interestingly, when I do the words to blend, I'm going to say them in a spelling voice. But I want you to keep thinking of our little mate, the schwa over here. Okay. So, stand up. Let's get ready for some kung fu blending. Our first word is teacher. Teacher. T, each, e. Teacher, waiter, waiter, what eight, er, waiter, singer, singer, s i n er, drummer, drummer, it's hard, isn't it? Drummer, drummer, d u r a m er, drummer. That was tricky. I wanted to say teacher, waiter, singer, drummer, and bring our schwa back into it, but never mind. Let's have a look at some words to read that have our er morpheme in them. So, have a look at our first one. I'm going to use the blue, sorry. St it. Er, sticker, something that sticks. Sticker, stick, er. A, n, t, er. Hunt, er. One, a person who hunts. Or an, a, an insect or an animal that hunts is a hunter. E, u, p, helper, one who helps. Sticker, hunter, helper. Sticker, hunter, helper. Eater, oh, eater. That should just be a dot. Eater, one who eats. D, r, s, er, dresser. Ha, huh, one who dresses. If I were incredibly rich, I might have someone choose my clothes and help me get ready before I went to the Oscars or something. So I'd have a dresser. But generally, we talk about a dresser being something where we store all our clothes. Dresser. Ch eat. Er. Cheater. One who cheats. Eater. Dresser. Cheater. Eater. Dresser. Cheater. Er. Eed. Er. Reader. One who reads. D -a -st er. Duster. It's usually not so much one who dusts, but more a thing that you dust with. Duster. J -a -m -p -e. Jumper. One who jumps. Also something you wear. But this word is for that. So reader, duster, jumper. Reader, duster, jumper. Fantastic. Pen and pencil ready. Time for some writing. We'll leave that there. Our first word is catcher. Catcher. I am the catcher in the team. Let's write our root word first. Say with me, catch, catch, k, k, a, ch, k, a, ch. Let's add our morpheme, er. And now our word is catcher. Good job. Tick or fix. Our next word is heater. Oh, when I'm cold, I want something that heats the room up. A heater. 
Say it with me, heater, heater, eat, uh. In our spelling voice, eat, er, eat, er. Pause and write the word, eat, er, heater. Tick or fix. And our last one, singer. You ready? Singer, say it with me. Singer, singer, s, e, n, er. S, s, e, n, er. Pause and write the word, s, e, n, er. Singer. Tick or fix. Oh, that was a funny tick. Let's have a look at our fluency passage. We'll pop it there so you can still see our note. The bug hunter had a red ju uh, mm, jumper. She, or take a breath, she was singing about catching bugs with her teacher. Teacher. I wonder what their song was like. I can't imagine it, can you? Let's read it together. The bug hunter had a red jumper. She was singing about catching bugs with her teacher. That's a bit strange. Get ready for dictation. Let's sing about bugs. I'm gonna catch some bugs with my teacher. Gonna catch some bugs with my teacher. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Let's take this out of the way. We'll pop her up the top. The drum player was the leader. Say that with me. The drum player was the leader. The drum player was the leader. Who was the leader? The drum player. Capital letter. The. The. R. A. M. The drum play. Player. The drum player was what? Was the leader. Was the root base word, lead. Leader, full stop. The drum player was the leader. Good job, tick or fix. You can pause it here and make sure that you've got it right. So let's remember our new morpheme for today. Let's write it together. E, R means one who or something that. E, R, er. E, R, er. E, R, er. Here's our homework. It's a very quick homework this week. You've only got a few words to write. I'd like you to look at the base word, dream, and add er. D, er, eem, er, dreamer. Do the same with print, employ, work, catch, and lead. And when you're finished, you can draw a picture for one of the words. That's it. Have a fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you later, alligator.